Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Uh, in just a moment, Sharon Marshall shares this week's unmissable storylines. Uh, first, plenty of iconic stars have walked Coronation Street's famous cobbles, but it takes something extra special to earn soap legend status. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Over the past 64 years, some true icons have strolled along these famous Corrie cobbles. From Bet Lynch to Ina Sharples, from Ken and Deirdre to Sally Metcalf. But today I am meeting another true icon of the street. But, uh, hmm, can you guess who it is yet? Hmm? Little clue for you there. Hello, Audrey Roberts. That's right, I am, of course, talking about Sue Nichols, Hiya. who has been playing Audrey Roberts for nearly 45 years. And what's more, I get to interview her in the legendary Rover's Return. Sue's six-decade career in TV has seen her bring many memorable characters to our living rooms, including Marilyn in Crossroads and Mrs. Popoff in the children's comedy show Rent a Ghost. <laughs> Oh, darlings, I am such a stupid. If I was alive, I would wish I was dead. But it's her role on everyone's favourite cobbles that has cemented her place as a true television icon. We're going to come to that day um, in 1979 when you have your first appearance as Audrey Potter. Gail's 21st birthday. Gail, there's a visitor for you. Hello, love. Mother. She's not that pleased to see you. What, what was that like, being in there? I loved it, and that's how she was. And I'm talking about a, a kind of different era and person now, but whenever I see it, I yes, poor darling Gail, lovely darling Helen, was stunned on her face <laughs> with this Mom. woman coming in. Yes. <laughs> oh, have you got a fella for me? <laughs> I'm looking forward to tonight, though. Have you got a fella for me? By next month, you will have been here for 45 years. Uh, did you did you mean to stay this long? Well, no, I was only, <laughs> I, I was only asked to come for a week. Soon after that, I was asked back. There was no question of no thank you, because I'd had such a ball on that first week. Oh, ma'am, please. I really don't think there's anything else to say, do you? Hmm? You've mentioned Helen Worth, who you say is joyous. What, what is that relationship like between the two of you? Well, I love her to death. I love doing scenes with her. And when we fall out, we don't fall out. It's just a true family thing, which happens in life. But she's not a good judge of men. Um, so, mind you, I can talk with you. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> yes, over the years, Audrey has been known in my household, and I dare say millions of others, as a bit of a floozy. Get away with you. <laughs> and several men even popped the big question. Archie Shuttleworth. Archie Shuttleworth. Yes. Marry me. Oh, Archie. He was divine. Yes. And then, of course, there was um, Fred Elliott. As well. Fred Elliott, yes. The wonderful John Savage. Yes. Will you do me the very great honour of becoming my wife? Please. Yes, I will. He was lovely, and it, the sad news recently of his leaving us. You Some Russian sailor so called Sergei, I think, yes. a year ago as well. Do yes, I, was, I do remember him. He was a Rongan, though. Was he, he was wrong? a Rongan, yeah. Oh, and right. Nigel Havers had a go as well. He's absolutely gutted they killed him off. He would have loved to be married to you. Oh, bless him. <laughs> we used to joke that he should come back as his New Zealand brother or something like that. Well, the, the man that uh, proposed to Audrey twice, of course, was oh, Alfie. What was Brian Mosley like? Absolute joy. Alf was kind of a... hadn't, hadn't really had a lot of marrying things mm. he'd married. But, of course, Brian had a lovely family, lovely kids and everything, so that was just two different people. Despite the distraction of all these potential suitors, Audrey has always been a dedicated matriarch to the iconic Corrie family, the Platts. Are you all like a, a real family? Often? Yes, no, I, I won't have a word against the family, I'm sorry. I know you're desperate to. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't die. They, they, they're all wonderful, <laughs> they've all got personalities. I mean, over the top, really. David, come on, brilliant. A totally always saying awful things. Then doing, um, I almost forget, what do they play now? I've forgotten. Uh, Nick. Nick, thank you. Um, Don't in grandmother. <laughs> 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 what about my heart, Gail? Hmm? You're, you're unique, possibly, in Corrie history, by having a little bit of a signature noise. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, how, how do we do it? I don't do it on purpose. It's just like trying to be. What? Yeah? Huh? Does that ring any bells? Hmm? 45 years of Audrey. What, what keeps you coming in? Coronation Street, I have to say, mm -hmm. is now my life. I find it easier to come here. I love the people I work with. I love what they give me to do. And I want it to go on. But let's see. Well, hopefully, Audrey will be gracing our screens for many years to come. The true definition of a soap legend. You don't get gold bracelets by sitting at home pickling onions, do you? Cheers. Let's see oh, if it goes on. Carol, um, Audrey's going nowhere. She's going nowhere. I know, as if, as if you could ever... So I mean, she's overcome so many serial killers in that, that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, There's just so many incredible moments in that remarkable career. I yeah. just, do, do you know, it was, it's so good when you talk to people, some people go, oh, Pipkin, some people go rent a ghost mm. and yes. mm. Reginald Perrin and Crossroads, and she had a, mm. a pop career. We didn't even have time to show yeah, that. She yeah, was number yeah. 17 in the chart. Yeah. Number 17 number in the chart. Number 17 in the chart. She is definitely Miss Pop-Off for us too, though, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, totally. She doesn't look any different either. She looks Exactly the same. I did. She did do it for me. Do you, do you want to have a little yes, look? Please. I know. I was. I was five years old again. Go oh. on. Well, I'm going to leave you with another show. Thank you very much, darling. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Popoff. Thank you. <laughs> it's magical. Darling. 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 <laughs> oh, so good. I loved it. I loved it. Thank you for letting oh, me do thank that. You for I'm doing going it, to go through the rest of the soap. So we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, cracking it. pace. What to watch? First of all, Amy Barlow. This is another legend in the making. I am loving her because her mum, Tracy, is such a cow and she's yes. inherited the whole thing from her. So, Tracy takes a new fella, Tommy Orpington, the footballer, out for lunch. Right. And she is right. So, what are you doing? Flaunting him, cheating on my dad. It's still not right. So, she, Amy starts going, right, I will have the most expensive thing on the menu, champagne. Bring it in. So, there you go. You reckon Steve might have given in to it for Amy Barlow. That look on won't. her face is yeah. brilliant. It's going to be she's brilliant. Great. And Roy Cropper, keep an eye on him this week. Find himself on the wrong side of the law. He should never have cleaned that flat. He's going to find himself accused of murder. What? I know, That's I not know. just the wrong side. That's going down. That is completely <laughs> wrong. And the campaign to save him starts here. Do you not arrest my Roy <laughs> Um Over in Emmerdale, heart-rending storylines. Lucy Parger to Chaz is, is just... It's heart-rending scenes. Oh, she's she's facing her mastectomy operation. She goes to talk to Paddy. She describes this as a running so towards what her. both of them know, which Mandy Dingle won't be that pleased to note, is a kiss Ooh. coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. It's her being facing the operation, scared, clinging on to him. But what well, my money is going to say when she sees that? And the King centre stage as well, as Angelica is preparing for a custodial sentence. You've seen. I love the scenes last night with Jimmy and Bob helping him. Just family coming together for their children. All about families. And he stands us. It's all about that body under the cafe. <laughs> so Stacey went to visit Denise. Um, Jack turns up, possibly the worst copper in soaps. <laughs> barring <laughs> Craig Tinker, who's in the house when Roy Cropper should be getting saved. He's asking questions, what are you doing here? I mean, the correct answer is, I'm trying to stop her telling anyone that we killed Keanu and buried him under the uh, cafe. <laughs> but she manages to cover the whole thing up and say, let's take away, don't do anything, don't ask too many questions. And also a terrific week for um, Colin Salmon playing George, George Knight. Uh -huh. Hugely powerful scenes tackling racism. He, he stood up to his father in court last night. He said, no, I'm not going to give you a, a character reference. You're a racist. But what that has left him doing is still this search for his real birth mother. You will find out tonight there was a woman who was at the court. He's saying, I think that's my real mum. I want to, want to see her. She left the court. You will find out tonight who she is and start getting some answers. Love it when Ooh. new characters come in and they have a big impact. Oh. Colin coming in was such big news and them to, to see him doing that is just great. It? It, he has tackled it so brilliantly and, and what a cast to be doing it with. I mean, Christopher Fairbank is your dad. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, by the way, they send love to you from Colin. Um, oh, uh, they do nickels, so best of luck to the two of you. Ms. That's, that's really <laughs> amazing. Thank you, darling. <laughs> darling. Thank, thank you, you, darling. <laughs> uh, Sharon, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right then, still to come, a Sharon.